Hello everybody, it's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to run for all the fallen police officers, firefighters, and U.S. Border Patrol members who lose their life in line of duty in 2021. And unfortunately tonight for my second mile, I'm running for Conservation Officer Sarah Grell. She worked with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. She also worked she, uh, specifically with the Enforcement Division uh, in Minnesota, and her end of watch was May 24th, 2021, and she lost her life after her vehicle was struck on the passenger side by a tractor trailer. She was only 39 years old at the time of her passing, serving 16 years uh, as a conservation officer with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. She leaves behind a husband and three children. Her uncle, father, and grandfather also served as conservation officers with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, so a great, uh, you know, family, uh, pass along when it comes to being a conservation officer as well, which is a very cool thing to see. Unfortunately, here, unfortunately tonight, uh, I'll, be running, I'll be running tonight with the blue line flag uh, in honor of fallen conservation officer Sarah Grell tonight. I'll be doing seven laps around the track uh, at the later elementary school, which is a cool of a mile in her honor tonight. Uh, we'll be joined by many people, including the uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. I want to thank them really much for coming out because even though it's not the same state, uh, they are also conservation officers down here in Florida. So I love being able to see them, uh, see them out to support one of their fallen conservation officers in the United States tonight. We're also joined by two Simla County Sheriff's Office cruisers and the Osceola County Fire Department. The first time they've ever come out and I want to thank him for coming out. He's running in his full gear as well and he's a firefighter so he'll be running with me tonight. We're also joined by another conservation officer who's going to be running with me tonight as well as many other supporters who are running, as well as my whole family who are joining us in this run tonight. Even though it seems like it's me and four others running, at the same time, there's even more, more running and it's all the fun I ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight, including fallen conservation officer, Sarah Grell. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of her whole family and apartment through our time they're going through, and then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuned in tonight, tonight Zechariah running his second mile of the evening, this time for fallen conservation officer Sarah Grell. She worked with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, the Enforcement Division, end of watch May the 24th, 2021. Tragically, she lost her life after her vehicle was struck on the passenger side by a tractor trailer. 39 years old, serving 16 years with this agency, had family that also served in this agency, including her uncle, father, and grandfather, and leaves behind a husband as well as three children. Zechariah completing his first of seven laps to honor Conservation Officer Sarah Grell tonight. <laughs> We're always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside of Zechariah and helping tonight to honor Conservation Officer Sarah Grell. We have members of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, our state's conservation officers to help pay tribute to one of their fallen sisters from another state. We also are joined by our home county agency, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. And running with Zechariah tonight, we have members of the Conservation, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, and the Osceola County Fire Department running in full gear. Again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to a 16-year veteran of the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, 39-year-old conservation officer, Sarah Grell. Tragically lost her life on May the 24th when her vehicle was struck on the passenger side door by a semi-truck. 39 years old, had a family that served as well, including her uncle, father, and grandfather. Leaves behind a husband and three children. Zechariah now completing his second lap to honor Conservation Officer Sarah Grell tonight.
For every mile that Zechariah completes, he carries with him a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor this flag tonight, a blue line flag that will get sent to the family of fallen conservation officer Sarah Grell, along with the note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the afternoon. If you'd like information on how you can be part of this mission, please visit running the number four heroes org to find out more we'll also do a follow-up post a little bit later in the evening with details on how you can be part of this mission i'm gonna go silent starting on this next lap i'm gonna remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on the life of this hero 39 year old 16 year veteran the minnesota department of natural resources fallen conservation officer sarah grill our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody with the minnesota department of natural resources particularly the enforcement division our prayers also go out to our husband and her three children we thank her for her service we hope this run will help ensure that she is never forgotten.
Zachary, any final words for the family of Fallen Conservation Officer Sarah Grell? To the whole family of Fallen Conservation Officer Sarah Grell, as well as everybody at the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, especially with the Enforcement Division, I hope you all heal very soon to the passing of your loved one and friend in law enforcement. You know, I hate being able to have to run again, you know, I hate having run for this reason, and you know, even though we even though, you know, um, she passed away, she left behind a huge family and she really did amazing stuff during her life. She had a husband and three children uh, behind her the whole time, supporting her along the way. And what a great family bond as well. Her uncle, father, and grandfather also had served with the, as a, as a conservation officer with the agency. So, you know, it's incredible how they have that uh, bond together and hopefully it, it, this, this uh, will continue for as long as possible uh, in honor of conservation officer Sarah Grell's memory. Just, she was very young, only 39 years old, serving 16 amazing years, a truly incredible person. And I hope this run just lets everybody with her whole entire family and department to know that there's people out there that are supporting you and will help you out along the way. And we hope you well over the next, next few months, even possible next few years, as long as the, your comfort has to spread out. If you're part of conservation officer Sarah Grell's whole family, I'll be sending you this blue line flag around with tonight in her honor as well as a handwritten note that I've already written and ready to be sent out to a location in her name. There is no preference on what we want to do the flag or the note that, I written, that I've already written, but whatever you do with it, we hope you find comfort every, every single time you look at it knowing that you're a fallen hero. Conservation officer Sarah Grell will never be forgotten all the way here in Florida and got the whole entire nation. Final words for her, you know, just an amazing woman, one who, you know, definitely led by example and hopefully can inspire lots of other young girls who want to be a police who want to be police, police officers or first fathers may order when they watch this video. Uh, just she can be a big inspiration as well. So my prayers with everybody with her whole family to these next few weeks. If all of you tonight to help out her family, like join me in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute, each second day can do one amazing thing conservation officer Sarah Grell did during her life, including in law enforcement. Please do, because you're in this 21 second moment of silence. You do not know how much it means to the family, through the hard time they're going through. Thank you all very much for joining me in that 21 second moment of silence. Real quick before I do a prayer, I also want to thank the turnout tonight that we had, especially from the uh, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation. Even though uh, it's not the same state, they are still conservation officers in the state of Florida. And I love seeing them come out to support their fallen conservation officer in the United States tonight. I really want, I appreciate them, as well as everybody else who came out, the Summit County Sheriff's Office, the Osceola County Fire Department, uh, and everybody else who came out here tonight as well. Now, one more time tonight, if all the better heads in a prayer, this time for both fallen first responders I ran for tonight. So if all the better heads in this uh, moment of silence, please do. Dear God, tonight we've had to come out here to do two more miles, unfortunately, for two more fallen first responders, uh, two very amazing first responders. Uh, the first one was for fallen detention services officer Michael Wall, and the second one was for fallen conservation officer Sarah Grell. Uh, both fallen first responders that we ran for tonight passed away very recently uh, and I know the families are going through such a hard time. God, you know, use not only my run but other uh, people that are supporting uh, them tonight. Uh, guide uh, the family to these runs, uh, including my run. Guide the family uh, to this run. Use this run as a tool to help them find comfort and just have a little bit of hope for the future that there's lots of people supporting their whole family through the hard time they're going through because these things uh, people should never have to go through, especially when one is lost too soon in law enforcement or firefighting. So God, please guide this run to the families use as a tool so they can help heal and just have a smile in this tribute run tonight. God, you know, in my opinion, first responders are true angels on earth, including the two I ran for tonight. And unfortunately, there's lots of angels on earth that I've ran for that I've become an angel in heaven with you. Almost every single one I've ran for, all 912 in the past years, have become an angel in heaven with you. And that's a huge number, unfortunately, that we have to run for every single night. 
So God, uh, watch over all first responders tonight as they go into the night shift across the United States. Keep them all safe. And hopefully in the morning or even in the next few days, we don't have any more first responders that have lost their life in the line of duty. And I've become an angel in heaven with you. Thank you again for keeping me safe and healthy throughout all these miles. Keep me safe and healthy for as long as possible so I can continue doing these miles because the least thing I want, uh, other than losing another first responder, is me getting injured and having to get caught up. So God, thank you for keeping me healthy and please continue to let this mission grow and help God and let this mission grow and spread to lots of people so they can learn about these fallen first responders. Thank you again, God, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you all very much for joining me in these two runs tonight. I want to thank everybody who came out tonight for this amazing turnout. Knowing that, at least where I live, this was the last day of school for me uh, and my sister. Tomorrow we're going to be having a day off just so I can uh, have a relaxing day. And I've also been running the last, last few days. So it's been uh, quite a hard few days when it comes to first responders losing their life. So tomorrow I'll be having a day off. And on Friday we'll unfortunately be back for more miles. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. Hope you have a great and safe night, especially for first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.